How's it? Welcome back to the channel. So something I've been wanting to learn personally for a long time now, in particular, when I started to take my Jimmy practice more seriously, is what were the traditional Hawaiian views and practices around dreams and dream work? To which it's actually kind of hard to come across and find where like, first of all, in the ancient Hawaiian culture, there, there was no writing, so everything was passed down verbally. And then when the missionaries came over and essentially converted everything to Christianity, a lot of that was potentially lost or was at least made a lot harder to find and get access to. So of course, you know, I went online and tried to do some of my own research on it, Googling it and stuff. And I would find some things, but I was never sure how accurate that information was. And one of the first books I came across actually was this book here, Dreaming the Divine, when I was first kind of trying to get into my own personal dreaming practice. And this book is about the different dreaming practices from the different cultures from around the world throughout history. And it just so happens to be that there was a section in here about some of the Hawaiian traditions and practice around it. And, you know, it was a very short section, like 12, 15 pages long or so. And the information did seem pretty accurate, but I was never sure how, how accurate and legit it was. And so it's like, if I was going to try and take that and turn around and make a video series on it, okay, well, hold on. First of all, anything I put on my channel, I feel has to be as legit and accurate, um, at least from my perspective and view on things. But especially if I'm going to make something about, you know, my culture, my heritage, about like the traditional Hawaiian views around this stuff, well, that's got to be as accurate as I can possibly make it. So I wasn't comfortable trying to make a series just based off of, you know, the one short section in this book. So, of course, I like went around and asked people in my personal life who might know some of this stuff. So, like, I talked to my mom about it, for example, and she shared with me some things, but it wasn't to the depth that I really wanted to get to it at. And, you know, I could have done other things. Like I could have went to maybe like Bishop Museum around here and I'm sure they have a ton of information on it. But I was just like, I was too shamed just to show up in there by myself and be like, hey, some random guy, can you just give me everything you got on, you know, the Hawaiian practices and views around dreams? To which, you know, I'm sure they would actually probably love it to see someone come in there wanting to learn more about his, you know, his heritage and his culture. But anyway, I didn't do it. So I ended up getting like pushed to the back burner for years. And then recently, I've been feeling more inspired to go ahead and try and learn more about it again. So I went to good old Instagram, was scrolling through there. And then this guy I've been following for a while, this guy Elijah, son of Oahu on Instagram. Really great page if you want to learn just about the Hawaiian culture in general. Or particularly, if you're going to come here as a tourist or I guess especially move here from someplace else, you've got to check out his work. has a lot of really great information in there. And it's also very entertaining, which is, of course, a huge bonus. Um, so I go ahead and I message him to see if he knows anyone I can reach out to. So he pointed me in the direction of this guy that seems like just the perfect person for me to talk to, this guy, Kumulehua Kavaika Puokalani. And, you know, so he, he's also, so he's pretty big time around here. And I was kind of, again, shamed just for like message him out of the blue and say, hey, you know, I'm some guy you never heard of. Can you give me some of your time to, you know, help share with me and teach me some of the, you know, Hawaiian views on dreams and stuff. But I was about to do it. But then I was thinking like, ah, you know, before I do that, I really better try and learn as much as I can at a, at a base level to show some effort and I'm not just here trying like to waste this time. So I did one more search online and came across this book, which never popped up for me before. Um, Hawaiian Legends of Dreams. This comes from the University of Hawaii. And it's all about, you know, the different Hawaiian legends around dreams. And I, I just started the book. Like I got past the opening and through the first legend. But I got to tell you, it is already sounding like the perfect book for me to read. So um, I definitely want to finish this book first before reaching out to Kumulehua. And really probably, you know, because I, I want to come in there as prepared as possible. I'll probably try to go down to Bishop Museum and see what I can, um, you know, learn from them before reaching out to Kumulehua. But anyway, point is, at some point in the future, I'm not sure how far into the future, but at some point I'll definitely be working on creating a video series on the traditional Hawaiian views and practices around dreams. And I'll be bringing that to you and I will definitely try to keep it as legit and accurate as possible.